Hey, how you going? Um, and welcome to, this is week five, man, five weeks. <laughs> this has been so cool. I really enjoy doing these video vlogs. Um, now, before I forget, don't forget to watch uh, the next uh, actors talk about themselves uh, with Heather Maltman, a very good friend of mine. I'll tell you a bit about that um, very shortly. Um, but today's going to be very quick um, because I've got this other one going. Um, and also actors talk about themselves is going to be out as a podcast as well. Um, I've just managed to get onto YouTube, uh, I, YouTube's, iTunes, so you can go to iTunes, look up Actors Talk About Themselves. It's available there uh, and a few other places that I haven't worked out yet. So anyway, that's something else that you can do. Um, today I'm really going to talk about, well, I mean, wearing my All Blacks uh, jumper. I've just been watching my team, uh, the All Blacks. I, I won't talk about rugby too much. Uh, that'll bore too many people, apart from the fact that we, you know, held the Bledisloe Cup again 14 years, haven't been better at home since 2001, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's enough rugby. Um, but something that really sprang to mind to me, you know, watching that, my team from my own country, you know, I live in Sydney and I'm from New Zealand, is, uh, you know, really about staying true to yourself, staying true, um, st staying true to, to where you come from. Um, and that's something that's really, uh, I guess affected me and changed the things that I'm writing, um. You know, like uh, I think it was a couple of years ago, I went to New Zealand and I was judge uh, for Tropfest New Zealand. Um, and yeah, so I did that. Um, and it was about halfway through, I think, the first day, I suddenly realized I'd been living in Australia for 10 years trying to be Australian, like trying to fit in in Sydney. And sure, you know, I had to, you know, adjust my accent. I was doing voiceovers and, you know, doing, you know, on Australian TV shows and Australian TV commercials. I had to sound, I couldn't sound obviously Kiwi. Um, but I think it really hit me. That was only a couple of years ago that I, I was trying to change. I was trying to be something that I wasn't. Um, so, yeah, it was just bizarre. Um, yeah, and it, it just changed everything for me. Um, so a lot of the ideas uh, that I had about... Um, you know, my stories um, were, I was going, well, I should, I just write about myself. I, like I'm a, I'm a New Zealander, you know, don't try and fit in. Don't try and write stories that <clears throat> have to fit anywhere in particular. And I think that's a, that's a general rule that I'm learning about creativity in general is, uh, you know, really do what you're passionate about and do what you love to do. And, and I read an interesting article about short films saying, just do what you know, like make your short film about what you know. <clears throat> um, of course, the next stage from all of that is actually doing it and actually completing it. Um, and I'm certainly not an expert <laughs> to give you any advice about that because, you know, I've got a lot of ideas sitting on my computer and in files, uh, that I haven't completed. So, um, that's that's a whole um yeah that's a whole other thing um I, I'll, I'll probably talk a little bit more about that sort of down the line i've been talking to a few people um but certainly when it comes to ideas uh you know and you know wearing my all black jumper and feeling very kiwi it's like of course i've got all these great experiences and my passion is is for my country and my passion is for the all black rugby team and you know for my dad and you know and for my family and you know there's all these great memories um i recently got uh, all these home movies two hours worth of home movies um you know that were came from an uncle of mine and and uh you know i'm in the process of you know editing those up and sending them around to the family and just seeing that was just such an incredible inspiration. I'll, I'll try and get little bits and share some of those, you know, once I've processed them. Um, but yeah, look, I'm going to give you this link. Um, this is something really interesting from a very good friend of mine called Jeff Bolo. Um, he's got this great system called uh, Fast Screenplay, which is amazing. Um, but he did a TED Talk and it was all about um, creativity and basically how only you have experienced what you've experienced in your life and only you've experienced the way you've experienced it. So basically saying that what you have to say and the stories you have to tell are completely, they're completely unique because I always struggled with, you know, oh, someone's done that before and that's being original and, you know, that's on TV or whatever. I mean, it's good to keep up with what's, what's out there, but at the end of the day, no one's really done, no one's told the stories that you've told. Um, you know, and it took me a long time to get my head around it. Anyway, the link's here somewhere. I'll, I'll put the link up for, for that video. Really have a look at that. Um, yeah, and you know, I think Jeff's a really good, a really good guy to uh, 
um, to talk to about those. So I'm going to get them on actors, talk about themselves actually, because I, I, I really do want to talk to them. Um, but I think it's an amazing talk and it, it just, it really opened a lot of things up. Um, there's another guy too called uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, who um, I'll try and find a link for him as well. Uh, <laughs> I watched that this week and if you want to find out about, you know, someone who's just really doing it and not talking, this guy is incredible. Um, I stumbled ac across this guy and it just completely blew my mind. So that's a couple of good links. Um, <clears throat> in regards to, I'm going to do photos um, today um, as well. Um, so he, um, here's just a few photos now. Um, I, I guess of, you know, this is my home. That this, this was where I was brought up. Um, you know, these are the images. These are the, you know, the experiences I've had in, in my home. Um, you know, some from The Hobbit, you know, some just from my own life, you know, just to get an idea of what I'm about and where I come from. So uh, this is just a random selection of photos <laughs> that I've found. Um, well, that's me when I was very little, living in Lower Hutt in Wellington. Christmas Day, Sydney. Ah, well, learning to surf, not actually surfing. Don't know why I was doing that, really. Ah, eating, as always. Yeah, that was for Movember. Didn't really keep that for good reason. Ah, uh, cooking. Uh, that was in Gisborne in New Zealand, visiting a very good friend of mine who's bought a pub there. As you can tell, these are a very random selection of photos. Ah, uh, and that was my trip to Disneyland. Um, I'm going to tell you more about that in, a, in an upcoming Actors Talk About Themselves because uh, there's a lot more photos from Disneyland that I'm going to share with you. Next week, I've, I've, I was going to talk about this week, but I'm going to do it next week. I'm going to talk about um, fitness and looking after yourself and getting prepared for a role. Um, and I've actually found a really interesting video um, that I'm going to uh, edit uh, of me preparing for the role of Bomber um, in my own time. So I'm going to, I'm going to put that on there. Um, but uh, I guess the, the final thing I'd like to talk about um, you know, in regards to creativity and, you know, producing your own content or, you know, your own original stories, I really urge you to watch um, my actors talk about themselves uh, with my friend Heather Maltman. I mean, I know I had Jed on the first week. That was insane. A lot of Hobbit fans really wanted to watch it. You know, a lot of people don't know Heather. I mean, you know, Heather, she was on The Bachelor as on the reality show. That was a big risk for her. But, you know, predominantly she's an actor. She's a, um, you know, she's a writer, a producer and director. And she she's... You know, like a, like a lot of people, she's had a lot of obstacles in her life. And the thing that I really love about her and that she talks about in, you know, actors talk about themselves is about finding, whoops, sorry. I have such a messy office, things bound to fall down. Um, for her, it's about finding a way to win. You know, and as a, as a creative person, as an actor, as an artist, finding a way to win. And she's one of the hardest working, toughest people I've ever met in this industry. You know, and she's not that old. So, you know, I really urge you to, to watch that um, because I think I, I know a lot of people have commented already who have watched it that they really got a lot out of that talk. So I urge you to go and, and you know, watch it. It's about, you know, 30, 40 minutes um, and it's going to be available on podcast as well. So, uh, yeah, do that. Um, I've got a couple of really exciting uh, interviews lined up as well um, <laughs> in the traps. Um, one's in LA, I've already done, and a couple of others, um, everyone's keen to do them. So, uh, yeah, really, that's it for me. Um, yeah, have a have a marvelous week. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget, of course, to subscribe. You know, to my YouTube channel. Go onto Twitter, to Facebook for my updates. Um, as I say, actors talk about themselves is on iTunes now, uh, the podcast, um, and it's also on a, a platform called Wushka, which is a Sydney-based platform I've just joined, which I'm very excited about. Uh, the other thing too is I've, I've updated my website, so if you want to go onto my website, there's some updated information there, and of course there's merchandise if you want to get you know photos or video messages, they'll always be there. So uh, you know, go for it. Um, yeah, have a great week, and we'll uh, see you next week. Cheers, bye. <laughs>